five tips for you to be a better photographer coming up. Hi there, my name is Peter Vorsgaard. I am a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And I do have a special offer for you at the end of this video. So you might want to watch all the tips all the way to the end. But let's start. Know your gear inside out. Modern cameras have so many features that, that it can be overwhelming. It's even if you're an experienced photographer in grabbing a new camera that you have never used before, there are tons of features. The features have different names. You might not be familiar with the names of a certain brand, what they call their features. And take the manual and start learning from menu one and know the knobs, know the dials, know everything about because when you're out there shooting, or out here shooting, the biggest uh, obstacle <laughs> cannot be that you don't know how to use the camera. Okay, I could have taken that, but I did not know how to use this and that. And that's, that's no good. Read the manual and watch different YouTube videos about your gear. You know, I know some of the best settings videos are really good. And then you have five tips and tricks, what I like I have on my channel. Those might seem a bit silly videos, but you know, they're popular. And the reason is that people want to know their camera and it's really important to know how to use it so that you know at the scene where you're photographing, you don't have to figure out how to use this. Manuals also have some tips about photography too, how to obtain shallow depth of field. And, and maybe if you want some more shallow depth of field, how to do that, that's important. Know your gear. By the way, can you hear the birds singing? Read photo books or books in general, because that will fire up your creativity, your imagination. And that's really important in photography, because even though I was talking about learning about your gear, which is of course important too, as I already said, but the most important uh, tool that you have is your mind, your imagination, your creativity. You need to boost that. And one way of boosting that is looking at photographs in photo books. Of course, you can also look photographs online. For me, looking at books is a lot more deeper, uh, uh, how do you say, deeper feeling or deeper uh, thing for me when, when I'm looking at photographs, because you kind of, the, the photograph is kind of real when you, when you have it printed on a book. But of course, if you can go to exhibitions, that's also another way of learning about photography. And it's, it's not about uh, making the same images as the masters. It's about getting inspiration. And uh, that's probably the most important thing in that. And, and then of course, there are a lot of books about photography in general, which is not about the making of the image. It's about the philosophy, about interpreting the images and criticizing the images. And those books are also very good because then you learn to look at photographs. And here are some examples of, of books that I have found to be really, really interesting. Go back to your old images. That's something that I do almost every week. One reason, of course, is that when I'm making these videos, I always go back to my archives if I find some uh, proper photograph to show you or demonstrate something about that photograph. Or if I'm making a video about a lens, I might have some old photographs taken with that lens and I might add them to my videos. That's, of course, one thing. But the second thing is that I go back to different, uh, different images, different eras and different times to see what did I do then? Because you always find some gems from your old images and that will give you inspiration and you will learn and it will give you confidence that, hey, I could, I was able to do this. That's especially in the times when you kind of doubt yourself and, and feel that you don't get any good images. Go back to your old images and find the gems from there. Get inspired by your own photographs from the past. And then there's also another good thing to go back to your images because image editing software has becoming a lot better let's say like what it was 10, 15 years ago. And that might be something. I'm not saying that uh, editing an image will make it a great photograph if, if, if it isn't an image in the first place. But uh, let's say that like the noise reduction could be something that makes some images that 
might have been a bit too noisy and a bit bit muddy looking and a bit bit odd looking. Using the latest software like DxO Pure Raw, for example, for noise reduction, might give your old images totally a new life because they look a lot better. But as I said, the image has to be good in the first place in order to make it a bit better in, in editing. You can't, if, it, if the image is bad in the first place, then editing won't do any good. But go back to your old images and get inspired by your own work. Go out and shoot. I think that's one of the most important tips that I can give you, because without shooting, you won't learn. You need to practice, practice, practice. Once you know your camera, you have the inspiration, go out and shoot. Because when you're making images, you will learn. And sometimes it's just hard to start. How to, how to start making those first images when you go for a photo walk or just having fun with your camera. I would say that try to pick a subject first. And if you don't have it in advance, just walk around and see what's around you and, and start from there. It's like uh, I did was found this pond, which is very familiar for me. I knew that this was here and I was, uh, I did know that it's going to be a very calm, no, no wind and overcast weather. I used the surface of the water as a background for my images. I did photograph some plants right by the pond and had the reflection as a background. And that's something to start. Don't know if the images were great, but it's a start, and that's how you start learning, learning, learning by shooting and start with something. It can be anything. It can be, I will photograph every bench on my way somewhere. Then I could photograph every garbage can, for example, or every mug or every something color, everything that's yellow I will make an image of. And that will get you going. And then you do other stuff. Like, like looking at the books, for example, and start getting inspiration from that and looking at your images, going back to your images and all that, and that will evolve. And it's, it's kind of like an ongoing process that you have to do all the time, because sometimes we do have problems with our imagination and creativity. We just, we have kind of like a creative block, but just keep going and that will help you. And take an online course. And here I do have a special offer for you. But let's start first with my own content. I do offer one-on-one -on -one sessions for you and it's totally customized for your needs. We will, uh, when you go to my web store, I will get a notification that you've bought something. Then we can start planning the course. We can talk about the cameras, how to, how to make your uh, use of camera better, learning the skills and all the different settings with your camera and then we can discuss about your photographs. That's another another lesson or another way of, uh, of uh, getting better that I will give feedback to your images. You'll send me a link to a gallery or some images and I will go through them and uh, we will discuss your path forward. And you, you can just get one hour if you want or several hours of, of me talking to you. And then the second option is uh, a bit bigger that's Skillshare. I do have an affiliate link for Skillshare so that you can get two weeks of free content from Skillshare and you can cancel it anytime. So no risk. And as I said, it's an affiliate link. And if you do sign up and purchase something, I will get a small commission, but it's a win-win situation. You will get an access to a huge amount of uh, tutorials and uh, teaching and coaching and whatnot. And I do get a small commission. So it's a win-win situation for both of us. And it's much appreciated because that also will support my channel so I can make this free content twice a week. So go check that out. I will have all the links down in the description below. And here are some more videos about becoming a better photographer. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.